I just can't remember. Like I said, it's been so long. I just don't remember. And like, I know you guys sent me the papers to review, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't didn't want to review them because it's been so long. It's like I uh, just don't want to deal with this anymore. Yes, I went through the witness statement, and it's everything that is written there. That's what I said. And that was correct. It was that was accurate. Okay. That's why I signed it. So during the time between he's like, I don't want to deal with this shit. In 2016, how many times would you say total that you interacted with Amber Heard? For a whole year, I, I, I don't. I can give you a number because it could be like probably I'll see you. I probably saw Amber for three times in one day. Probably I'll see like five times, or probably I will never I, see him for a whole week. So I mean, I that's valid, have, right? Like, that's a long time. I've never been a routine. Okay. How would you describe Amber Heard's interactions with you? Were they friendly? Would she smile at you? Would she talk with you? She was really friendly. She always smiled. And, but she, we never had like a, like a uh, interaction as a, as, as really close relationship. Like, uh, like I do with some of the other residents. She never told me anything of her problems. She never stopped by and talked about her personal life. She never did that. They're asking you about uh, a date that you recall seeing Amber Heard on May 25th, 2016. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And you said, probably, I just can't remember the days. I've got a really bad memory for dates. Did you see that? Yep. So, Mr. Romero, <laughs> would you at any time be able to he remember just took what type of clothing Amber Heard was wearing from one of her events? Nope, I don't remember. Um, would you remember on any daily basis uh, what type of hairstyle she was wearing? Nope. Would you remember on any type of basis uh, what type of uh, uh, bag? You don't want to be there, yo. <laughs> no. no he be able to he gives no shit. Whether she, Amber Heard was dressed up or casual on any given day. No. Would you be able to uh, say? I like his tie. She the tie what is fresh. Type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing on any given day. No. Would you be able to say, for example, whether Amber Heard had on concealer or foundation on any given day? No. Would you be able to say whether Amber Heard had on blush or powder on any given day? No. Would you be able to say whether Amber Heard had any mascara or eyeliner on any given day? No. How about eyebrow pencil or lip pencil? No. Do you have any mem memories of Amber Heard uh, wearing a particular type of makeup with a type of outfit? No. If you were asked uh, to describe uh, any character, this is almost useless. Like, what? Where is this going? Earlier, without knowing you were going to be asked, would you be able? to testify to any of those, what she was wearing, what her makeup was, what her hairstyle was? No, I won't, probably won't remember. When is the first time that you recall anyone saying anything to you about the police being called at the EC building because of a domestic dispute between Mr. Depp and- Objection Amber. relevance. Well, uh, to answer your question, whatever happened, it happened on a Saturday. I don't work Saturday. When I got there on Monday, they asked me, oh, you heard what happened? And I said, no, what happened? So that's how I find out. Then okay. I, I, went to the, I went to the cameras and see what, what, was, what was going on. Hill dish, what's up, baby? I saw Johnny Depp on the camera on the elevator, just walking back and forward on the camera in the elevator. I said, okay, I know that was Tim, and that's all I knew. But I was never, I was never, I was not there on that Saturday when that happened. I think, I believe that 
that whatever they happened, they say it happened. And when they called the police, I believe it was it was on a Saturday, and I was not there. Okay. Do you recall who told you that <laughs> on that Monday following the Saturday? Okay, Don. As a matter of fact, I think it was one of the residents that they approached to me, and they said uh, there was a lot of noise because the person was working out on the gym that's next to the penthouse. They heard a bunch of noise and that's it. And I, that's why I checked the camera and said, and when I looked at the cameras and I saw Johnny, like I said, was just walking back and forward in the elevator. And I said like, okay, all right, okay, no, I, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. And I didn't say anything more. I turned off the camera and that's it. And so she wanted to know what happened and so you went to the video cameras to look at video. How did you know when to look for them? Because she got the time. She got the time that she was working out. That's why I, I, I figured out the track, the, the time and the camera and looked. And then when I saw, as soon as I saw, like I said, Johnny Depp walking back and forth in the elevator, I turned off the camera and I figured out, okay, this is what happened. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, and of course, this is this is the defense asking questions first. But, you know, like he don't remember. I don't I don't know why they wanted to I mean, unless Johnny's lawyers asked him stuff that was important. But right now, the for the defense is like, "What?" I yeah, exactly. This is repeating himself. You know, and the lawyers are trying to try and they're asking different questions trying to catch him up to see if he if he um you know, might might uh, impeach himself or something like that. So, and that's where I'm going to follow up. Do you remember what Ms. Heard was wearing that night? No. Do you remember whether she was dressed up? No. Do you remember where she was coming from, that she was coming home at 1030 at night with Ms. Penny? No, I don't remember. They didn't mention to me. She was actually, she was on the phone. She was with Raquel in front of me. We were talking about it, and then she left to the lobby, where she was still on the phone. So I was, focusing, I was focusing more on Raquel because she, they want. I was telling about her dog. Okay. Do you remember what hairstyle Ms. Heard had that night? No. Do you know what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing that night? No. Can you tell me whether she was wearing concealer or foundation? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing blush? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing any type of, any kind of eye makeup? No. So who wrote the sentence, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind in Ms. Bird's face? I'm pretty sure if I were to say something like that, I would have said something. Mr. Romero, I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. I don't just don't recall. Just don't saw anything. She was just standing in front of me. I'm asking specifically. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind to Ms. Bird's face. Who wrote that's that? What, that's what I said. <laughs> I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. But they asked, they asked me. He looks high as draft balls. Is it me? He don't give. A, he don't want to be here. He's like, whatever. I'm over it. I swear he's rolling a blunt over there. <laughs> they asked me if I remember seeing anything. I said, I just don't recall seeing any marks or bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. I just don't remember any, seeing anything. I just don't remember. If it, how it would have been so obvious, like, someone had like a black eye I would have like whoa you know I would have seen that and I would have remembered because it's something that you will oh you will see you know like so noticeable like you will oh like you will remember but I, when I was there talking to her she was like three feet away from me she was right in front of me I just don't remember seeing any marks bruises or anything but you don't know whether she was wearing makeup to cover it, do you? No, I don't know. I, I, she was wearing any makeup to cover it, probably. You know, the, the probably would you probably would cover any bruise, 
But you cannot cover the swelling. Were you looking for swelling? No. I can say I was not looking for anything. In fact, you were spending more time talking to Rocky about her dog, were you not? That's, that's correct, but I got I to gotta have it. I, uh, when I'm talking to someone, I look into their eyes. And when I was talking to uh, Amber and Rocky, I always look into their eyes. Okay. And I will probably would notice like any swollen or bruise, like <laughs> I said, I would probably would notice. Is it fair to say, Mr. Romero, that you can't say that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the 25th? I don't remember. Okay. New game. Every time he says, I don't remember, take a shot. You're going to be off their fucking ass drunk. I probably remember the swollen, but I didn't saw anything. I don't re just don't remember. And you don't That's probably the reason why he's in the car. Hot boxing. Anything, right? But do you remember even looking? I remember. Okay. I remember. I re okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I remember. I got to tell the whole story how they got there. Before the guy, they went and get the keys. They come down. They say, somebody tried to get into my unit. They scratch us on my door and say, and like, um, um, I'm really sorry, but who will think it's going to get into your unit because they saw some scratches on the door, like, what, four inches above the door? Because the dog was crashing the door, was trying to get in. And they thought about someone trying to break into the, their, their unit. I said, oh, in my head, I was like, you really you think someone's trying to get into your unit? There's scratches like four inches above your the floor <laughs> your door. That was the dog trying to get into the unit. And they were so afraid. Oh, someone's trying to get into my unit. They're like, oh, come on, really? And I actually went... They asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that and put on my job, make sure they're safe. But <laughs> I like really, I didn't understand why they want me to do that. Like, oh, I don't know. I just. So stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court case. I, everybody got problems. And I don't want to deal with this no more. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to put this with any more words. The interaction you just <laughs> testified about is Amber Heard and Rocky Pennington. This is so cringe. Going up and checking out the penthouse. None of that was on video footage, correct? 30 people died of alcohol That's poisoning correct. due to the new drinking we game. We don't have cameras on the hallway. We okay. don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm going to show you uh, what has been marked as Romero de exhibit number one. It's a deposition that you was taken of you on July 19. Yo, he's, he's fidgety, right? He's super fidgety, bro. After like the May 21, 2000. Either he, either, listen, either he's just anxious and anxiety build up, or like he's, he needs a, he needs a little, you know what I mean? He needs a little something to take the edge off, but he's moving around. I'm just realizing he's rocking back and forth, moving around here and there, grabbing his shoulder. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Incident. That was on a Wednesday. That was from Saturday to Wednesday. Right. I mean, right. days would it be fair to say that you cannot testify <laughs> one way or the other whether oh, what is he doing? He got domestically abused by Johnny Depp on May 21, 2016? I, can, I cannot say that. I would, not, I would not agree to testify against anyone of domestic violence because I was not there. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. I was not there. I was never there. I was probably hundreds of miles away. And got no idea what happened that day. And do you remember that there was a <laughs> glass of wine? Yo, my man just taking the biggest hit. On the floor outside of the, uh, in the hallway of the penthouse. Just so ripping it in the middle of a deposition. This guy's a legend. What a legend. 
I remember talking to Mark. I'm not going to say he was white. You didn't see any swelling either, did you, Mr. Romero? That's correct. No swelling and she at was all. Only, and she was only three or four feet away from you, correct? Correct. <laughs> and you were looking right into her face squarely, correct? Correct. You, do you, you guys hear how they pieced it? They objected to every question, but they, it was overruled and he answered it. They're just... Objection! Objection! <laughs> Mr. Depp's attorney showed you um, I'm going to ask you first of all. Look at him ripping Mr. it. The studio showed you a number. Of <laughs> wait, wait. At this point, with the defense redirecting, he gives no fucks. He gives no fucks. He said, "You know what? I'm over it. I'm on the end of this uh, deposition. I'm just gonna rip it and blow the smoke out my nose." Look at his whole demeanor and attitude. His whole just body language. I'm not even a body language expert, but I can read his body language, and it says, "Bitch, I'm over this shit. Wrap it up." <laughs> what? It's, I don't remember. I don't even remember what I got for breakfast. Okay. Well, let's pull up exhibit. <laughs> Yo, nine. Johnny, chill. Don't laugh, bro. Let's Don't see. laugh, Johnny. That's a good place. Don't do it. Um, mm -hmm. Did you work Sunday, May 22nd? No. Did you work May 23rd? Yes. Dude, he's mentally May checked out. While you were working. Did you he is so far checked time? out. I don't recall seeing her. No. Okay. Um, so you don't know whether Ms. Hurd was wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? All right. <laughs> I'm to move along. So <laughs> he's just the ripping it. The incident was May 21st, 2016. You saw her the night of May 25th, correct? Correct. You said ah. that you saw Amber Heard hundreds of sure. times while she was there. Did Amber Heard treat you well and was she friendly to you in each of these hundreds of times? Yes, yes. I, I'm not going to say no because she was really <laughs> always nice. All right, this is my last be nice. All right, this is my last question. Is he really this driving off? To Mr. Presidio's questions. Um, <laughs> you testify Yo, this guy is great. This guy needs a TV show or something. Yo, he just at the end gave no shits, smoking in front of the deposition. He just pulled up the car and started driving while he's on the phone. I don't even think that's legal truthfully in all of these occasions did you testify truthfully truthfully to everything that you testified in response to my questions today that's correct uh, all right. i i did 